so sir how does working as a change maker at umnati uh, impact somebody's life or career that's a great question so we have a lot of people who come to us to be change makers that the term change maker is is very different we don't use the term trainer or we don't use the term teacher we call them change makers because they don many hats it's not just training or felicitation that they do they do a lot of things uh, they can be uh, at at times they're doing a sales job at times they're doing a marketing job they're convincing people they are uh, bringing in youth into the classrooms they're holding youth for 30 days inside a classroom so there's a lot of effort that goes into this role of being a change maker and uh, it has it has a lot of benefits and advantages for a person we have people that come to us in the beginning of their career as freshers we have people that come to us uh, probably with some experience they have worked in other ngos or they have been teachers trainers uh, at the end of the day when they come to unnati uh, all of us at unnati we are very ordinary people there is no you know extraordinary genius sitting here we are all very ordinary people we are very non judgmental people so we do not judge somebody based on their marks we don't judge based on their religion their caste their gender their sexual orientation there is no uh, you know judgment that happens so we don't you don't get asked in an interview which college you are from we don't ask how much marks did you get uh, we are more bothered about we judge on do you have the energy do you have the creativity uh, do you have that kind of entrepreneurial spark in you these are things that we look for and these are things that will if if shaped correctly it can help anybody in any career path that they choose so as a change maker uh we we have our program is designed in such a way where we are very process driven so we have very defined steps that need to be followed so a person who's working as a change maker starts becoming very disciplined starts uh, following a particular routine the job itself is extremely fulfilling my job is all about looking at a computer looking at sheets and you know that's what i do all day but these guys spend uh, they have 30 new faces every day that they're looking at they have young people that they're talking to so a lot of energy a lot of um, you know uh, thoughts that come from the youth they are constantly listening to youth talking about what they think so you can imagine the amount of uh, you know how your brain will continuously be evolving and uh, thinking when you have 30 people sharing their points of view on a daily basis on a different topic every day so it's extremely fulfilling the kind of respect that they get is huge because in a small village uh, people start looking up to this person not just as a mentor but something more than that you know because they feel that nobody has cared for me nobody has listened to me nobody has respected me you know this youth usually the thing that they lack is respect nobody has respected them they have been told that you are good for nothing you are uh, i don't know why you were born in my family uh, you know so these are the things that they usually hear from either their family or their or the society or college also to a certain extent so um it's a very fulfilling job it's a very disciplined job it can if somebody does it with all of their heart then it can take uh, you know it can take that person to a lot of different places uh, they can apply what they learn at unnati in any field in any job or any business that they want to start that they take up so that i feel is really important uh, for a change maker and that's how it impacts their career yes sir so i'll conclude with one more question sir so uh, what is your unnati's vision and how will we see it becoming true okay so unnati has a vision so it was a vision statement that you know we it was put when i joined unnati i i read it on a poster which said uh, uh we we have a vision to train 1 million youth and training train and employ 1 million that's 10 lakh youth um and when i joined the numbers were still in a few thousands 
So 10 lakhs was, uh, it seemed like a far-fetched, uh, you know, goal or uh, dream that was still on paper. Unnati is a kind of place where uh, dreams become possible. If you are able to dream, if you are able to think, if you are able to then put it on paper and then execute, it is a space where it is allowed. You would have seen people do it uh, around this building. You know, that's, that's the kind of atmosphere we have. There are certain things that's really important to make dreams possible. It's, it's very philosophical or easy to say, you know, dreams come true. But there are certain things that need to, like, you know, pieces of the puzzle that need to come together. One very important piece is, as an NGO, governance and transparency. So when we say NGO, when I speak to my friends who are in the corporate world, who are lawyers, doctors, when I tell them that, you know, hey, we are, we are an NGO and we are doing something good for society, they don't believe me. They say, you, are, you know, there is something, there is a catch. There's, of course, some, somebody is making money out of it. There is something going on. I am sure there is nobody who just works for society. So this is a kind of a stereotype that exists and uh, we, are, we are very different in that way. We are extremely transparent. You can go to our website, you will find all our financial documents. Um, we are registered on the Social Stock Exchange and we are the first NGO to be listed on the Social Stock Exchange. Which means we have been scrutinized by a lot of people. Uh, based on our financials and you know our transparency the impact that we have so we are an organization that has nothing to hide we are very you know open transparent we are able to show that okay this is the money that's coming in this is the money that's going out and it's all there for you to check and see we are an organization that is more passionate about creating innovating uh, having that kind of a space where we can create impact. What gives us energy is seeing something, you know, flourish, something go across the country and touch lakhs or millions of lives. So that's very important. Governance and transparency is a very important part of, uh, you know, making this dream a reality. Another thing is that we strategize like an entrepreneur. We execute like a corporate and we spend like an NGO. So there is a very different, uh, you know, kind of approach to the way we do things. Uh, we are able to empathize like an NGO. We are able to uh, put in processes. We are able to innovate, use technology like a corporate. We are able to think, uh, plan like uh, an entrepreneur, like a business person. So this combination of things coming together is moving us you know quicker towards this dream of uh, employing and training one million youth a lot of people believe in us a lot of people trust us because of the trust that has been built over two decades uh, in terms of financial governance in terms of transparency and all of that uh, we are able to grow very quickly so from 2003 to 2023 Unnati trained about 80,000 youth. In one financial year, 23-24, we have done 1 lakh youth. So we are able to suddenly grow that quickly because we are able to adapt to technology, we are able to innovate, we are able to think, we are able to plan and strategize and all of those things. right? At the end of the day, like I said, we are very ordinary people. So there is no genius in it. We like to keep it simple. We like to keep it real. So we break it down to very, very simple things. We talk in very simple language and we're able to get things done like that. So I see that this dream or this vision of training 1 million youth is not very far away. We are uh, in that direction. Uh, we've got the machinery in place. It is about kind of servicing the machinery continuously over the next few years and making sure that everything runs smoothly, making sure that we continuously innovate, we bring in ways of doing things better, more efficiently and uh, maintaining the quality of what we provide, maintaining that kind of transparency and governance 
uh, we will easily be able to achieve that that dream that's where we are very nice sir thank you sir for giving your valuable times and share your expertise and thank you viewers for tuning into under this podcast stay tuned for future episodes until next take care and keep studying for positive changes